Scott Rusker, what a game that was this evening. Yeah, um, just said, obviously on the, on the score row there, end-to-end -end game, great for the neutral, great for both sets of fans, you know, that's what cup games are all about. Um, went through their team, knew exactly how they were going to play and they've got some real good quality players and obviously you've seen there, we've had chances, we've had three or four first half, maybe should have scored, done better with the chances. Second half, you've got the one there with Greg Draper, but um, you know, Greg's been fantastic. I want to just highlight him, by the way. Um, and then we've got, uh, you know, Dobie goes through there and you think, it's over, it's going to be, they're going to score and it's going to be a one nilla, and then he misses. So, a bit of a roller coaster today, but that's some of the football we played there, um, first, at least the first half and, and, and some part of that second half was, uh, was really pleasing to watch. And, you know, although, yes, we're going to get counted because of the way we play, uh, I thought the boys were every every single one of them was fantastic. There were three changes from last week's game against Barrytown United. You obviously thought your tactics through, so it must be particularly pleasing for you to come out at the end with a result. Yeah, you know, we didn't need any any more encouragement for today's game. It was uh, something different from the Welsh Premier League. Obviously, we lost our last game against Barry, which was unfortunate, frustrating, disappointing, whatever word you want to use, but. I said to the lads, look, you've got to bounce back today. Everyone's watching, people here, the neutral are coming to watch you. People are watching on television. Um, someone needs to slip up, someone needs to do well. So, um, you know, overall, the way we play, the, the chances we created, couldn't ask any more. And then in, in penalties, you know, uh, again, up and down, they've missed a couple, we've missed a couple. And, uh, you know, it falls to, to Paul Harrison there to, to whip one in the top corner and, and he does that all the time. And obviously Alex Darlington, you know, freezing cold on the bench, coming on and, and scoring a penalty, brilliant. Same as Chris Sargent. Um, when called upon, these players are doing everything we ask and it's, uh, it's a real uh, pleasure. And I've just told them, every single one of them, I'm proud of them. And you talk about the missed penalties. Well, the first four, two from either side, yeah. weren't converted. The, the drama continued right the way through to the very end. Yeah, you know, you look at the penalties against Livingston, it's chalk and cheese because uh, we were scoring, it was four, five, five, four, something like that. You know, it was, everyone was scoring, the quality was really good. Today, it was just, I think there was a bit of tired legs today because both sets of players were, were absolutely dead on their feet. Um, and, you know, a credit to them because they're a good football inside as well. They've got some experienced players and I knew we were going to be in for a battle. People were saying about, yeah, you, you know, Scottish League. I said, look, I've been to see enough Scottish games. Um, there's some good players in that, in that division. And the semi-final is not until 2018, the weekend of February the 11th or the 12th, to be precise. So it's back to the bread and butter of the JD Welsh Premier League next Friday. Flan did know away. That's an equally an important game for the New Saints. Of course it is, yeah. You know, when you, when you lose your last game in the league, you want to get back to basics, get back to winning ways. This will hopefully push us forward. Momentum again. You know, we're looking for another, another run of results and... Hopefully this can uh, be the be the like flashpoint, whatever you want to call it. Um, two games in four days, you know, Friday and then the Monday after. So we'll have to plan accordingly this week, uh, training-wise, and see who needs a rest and what have you. But we'll be going again. Uh, the lads will have a little rest, and we'll be going again uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Good training sessions ready for Friday. A change of manager, Atlan did know. Are you expecting a, a different type of challenge from them? Uh, looking at the team that they played on um, on Saturday, it was very similar, obviously, to what he's inherited. He hasn't made too many changes, so I don't know. He's seen us probably three weeks ago, four weeks ago in the in the cup, uh, where Carnarvon came and, and we got that that victory, where uh, I think he went man, man for man a lot lot over the pitch. So we know that possibly he might do the same with some of his players for Clondudno, but uh, whatever he throws up, you know, hopefully we're going to be on a on a run now, and that's that's imperative. You know, you've got other teams now that. Um, like yeah, Cardiff Mets, Connors Key got another point, Cardiff Met got three points, Bangor are right behind us again, so we need to go again now in the league. Scott, thank you for your time, and again, massive congratulations on the victory today. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. Will there be a day off for the players? Uh, definite day off tomorrow. I'm going, I think the draw's on Tuesday, so I'll be going um, to hopefully see what we've got on Tuesday. Thank you very much, Scott.